Hi guys, welcome to the 32nd video of the Love Bubber 450 question series. So we have finished array, matrix and uh, string. So we are doing searching and sorting and from now on the problems will become a little different, uh, tricky. Not that tough, but yeah, it will take time. And I have some college work also, so I am not able to solve many problems. But I think from Monday onwards, I will solve more problems. So these two videos, please bear with me. I will do only maybe two problems. So please like, share and subscribe and support me and all, ask all your friends to do so. So yesterday we had done this problem, sort an array according to count of set bits. But I had used O of n space. How to do this question in O of one space? So first of all, I hope you know what is a set bit. So set bit is nothing but one in binary representation of a number. Okay. So I really expect you to know this much. And now what we will be doing, we will be using sorting uh, STL. We will be using a comparator, okay? We will be using a comparator. What is this comparator? It is a function which will sort according to some condition. It will sort according to some condition, okay? So we have to pass that condition. So how to use that comparator? Let us assume the array is oh, this. Okay, let us assume the array is this. We want to sort this array. So how we will sort? We will say sort a plus n. So this is the STL function. But we want to pass a comparator. So what we will say? We will say compare. So so we will say compare like this. Now, what is this compare function? We have to write a compare function. Let us say bool compare. What will we compare? First of all, what are the parameters? The two integers, we will take two integers. And let us say set bit of A is equal to count set bit of A. Let us say set bit of B is equal to count set bit of B. And we will say if <coughs> set bit of A is less than or equal to set bit of B, we will return false because we want to sort according to maximum set bit. We want to sort in what? We want to sort in, where is the question? So the question is, we want to sort according to decreasing order of set bits. We want to sort according to decreasing order of set bits. So we will count set bits of both the functions. How much time this will take? This will take log n time. Counting the set bit will take log n time. Otherwise, we will return true. So if this condition is false, we will return true. So like this, you can easily sort the array using a compare function. There is one more solution which you need to know bit mask. Not bit mask actually. You need to, you need to work at the bit level. So when we do bits, bit operations, right? That time I'll take up this question again because now you might not understand clearly how to do this. So this approach actually involves, uh, you know, because see, first of all, there are 31 bits only. We will be comparing or we will be storing all the numbers and their bits. So we'll need a vector of vectors, some concept like that. 
So that I will do when we do bit operations. Let us go to second problem. Second problem is quite interesting because second problem is minimum swaps to sort. So suppose we are given this array, okay? One, four, three, two. How many minimum swaps we require to sort this array? So if this is our original array. What will the sorted array be? One, two, three, four. As you can see, we have to swap these two. We have to do a swap of these two. So in this case, our answer will be one. We don't have to necessarily swap adjacent. We can swap anything. But the above solution that I'm going to tell you will work only for arrays which don't have duplicate elements. If duplicate elements are there, I do not know how to do it. But however I have done it, I have assumed there are no duplicates. So how to do it? First of all, this problem is something like a cycle detection. So it is something similar to cycle detection. Okay. What does it mean? For example, if the, we have this array, say one, two, sorry, suppose two, four, one, five and three. Suppose we have this array, okay. We know three should go here. We know five should go here and we know one should go here. So you can see we have formed a cycle, right? Three should go where five is there. Five should go where one is there. One should go when three is there. Like this in the array, we will get a cycle provided I don't think there should be a duplicate element. So as you can see, there are three elements in this cycle. So the size of the cycle minus one will be the number of swaps. So first of all, how to detect cycle? What will be the coding part? So how many of our cycles are there? We have to take them all into consideration and then give the final answer, the summation of all of that. So let me just remove this. So if you wanted to know how to count set bit, basically just keep dividing the number by two. Let me just show you that set bit count. You know, let us say the function is count set bit. Let us take a int n. Let us take a count variable. While n not equal to zero, we will say if n mod two is equal to one, then we will do count plus plus. Then we will do n by two. Then we will return count. So actually I forgot to mention how to implement the count set bit function. It is very easy. If you are a beginner, maybe you'll be confused. It will take log n time. So this is going to take log n time. We are dividing by two every time. Na? So this is how you count set bits. So I hope you're clear with that. Let us come back to our problem. So our problem is this finding detection, how to find the cycle. So first of all, let us take a uh, array of pairs wherein the first part is the element array, uh, of the array and second part is the index. Then we should take a visited array. And then we will check first of all, if visited is true, that means we have already visited the element or if the index matches, if the index matches, then we will continue. Because, for example, for example, if this is the array one four three two, and the sorted array is one two three four, see the index is matching the sorted array where it should be, the where the element should be, it is there only. So we will not do anything. We will go to next. 
now we have to check for cycle how to check for cycle so this is the program to this is the code to check for cycle whether there is a cycle or not if there is a cycle that means the number of swaps will be more than 0 so we will add swaps minus 1 because over here swaps will represent number of elements in the cycle so number of elements in the cycle minus 1 will be the actual uh, this thing number of swaps required so that is why we are going to add swaps minus 1 to the answer so this function will check for a cycle if you want to know how this function actually works i will put a video in the description you can check out the video over there he has explained everything with animation it will be better for your understanding you will get a good visualization okay so i'll put that video in the description you watch that video you will get a better understanding but this is how you detect for a cycle in like with the help of a visited array okay every time we just make a uh, visited of j as true because we have visited that element and then we just change the index and we increase the swap count so this was the solution to this problem minimum swaps to sort please let me know how to do this problem if there are duplicate elements i don't know how to do this problem if there are duplicate elements so thank you all for watching this patiently please like share and subscribe you have given lot of support if you still don't understand this i'll make a separate video but please do watch the video i put in the description he has explained with animation also so i'll take your leave now have a good day stay safe keep learning stay tuned bye